on April the 9th, 1992, that several of us met for lunch to talk about the possibilities of having an interfaith volunteer caregivers ministry in Wake County. My memory, now this is drawing on an antique memory, but my memory is that at that time, Belk at Crabtree Valley had a cafeteria and we met and ate at that cafeteria and sat around the table to talk about was it something that could merge this. John was there, John Mears, Keith Glover was there, I was there. In those early days, some interesting things happened. And one of the big boosts that let us really move from just being, isn't that a nice idea to say, this idea's got legs, you know, this idea can move, was when the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation gave us a grant, $25,000, if I remember correctly. And that allowed us to, to say, we may be able to survive and move on as an organization, we may be able to expand our ministry. We may be able to, to well, actually, we decided we probably can employ someone who can coordinate and manage the, the ongoing administrative work of the volunteer caregivers. And uh, so that set the $25,000, set us free to think in some ways that we, about which we had not thought before. In fact, my thought was that in announcing it to the community through a press release, I said, the energy for our emerging team of congregations seems to come from a divinely given vision for a neighbor helping neighbor. In those early days we were so excited when we were able to hire staff and have, have an executive director. It wasn't a full-time position but worked for a while and then after her time ended we continued to look at what's the future look like and pretty soon we began to even ask the question should we dismantle this organization? Is it really just something that's not going to happen? But I don't think the good Lord was through with us yet. Because first a little spark here, and then pretty soon a blaze, and pretty soon we had a good fire going. Now, with the broader avenue that reaches beyond just the faith communities, but into the entire community to draw upon the strengths and interests of the whole range of the community, but with the same mission that is driving it, that it's so alive and well, because human need has continued, so the human gift of can I help you has continued. And it just makes me feel very, very good. Wow, so much has happened. But this is 25 years of this. 25 years of caring. And when I say 25 years of caring that comes alive in the space of this room and in the space of the lives of these people gathered here and in our celebration of who we are, but even more important, the people and people and ministry and service that we can become. I just think, call me back in about another 25 years, we'll have something else to celebrate, okay?